Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and how is everyone doing today? This video <laughs> is going to be on why you can't trust your reloading manuals and just blindly load according to the manual, which is ridiculous, and I'll show you a few examples. All right, so previous video, I was going to uh, load up some bullets for uh, MCK, and he wanted to know how they shot in the Foxtrot mics. 45 ACP. Now, here's a really good example. This is the Lyman manual. It's a Lyman mold, okay? So they're hand in hand together. And it's the uh, 452 488. 195 grain cast bullet, their own mold to cast bullets with, and their own manual. It tells me to seat the bullet at 1.120. Now, as soon as I saw that, I knew something was wrong because I've been to this puppet show before. And I want to tell people that are new to reloading to watch out. Don't just blindly trust a manual, and here is why. If I were to seat that bullet to 1.120, the bullet would be past the casing. All right? So it'd be past, the, the brass would be sticking out, and this is a bullet that head spaces off the case mount. All right? So that's a no bueno. Now, uh, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, no way. So uh, what I did was started seating a dummy round. And I was going for 1.160. Right now we got 1.158. Okay, because I knew you got to leave a little shoulder of the lead left because you're crimping it a hair. Now, if I were to seat it as low as they said in the manual, let's see if we can, uh, should get my glasses on. Hang on. I should just go seat this thing for you guys to see how wacky it is. All right, so we have at least probably uh, 0 0.055. Okay, if I were to seat it like they say, the lead would be past the shoulder of the brass and you would not have headspace off the case mouth because you're cramping it lightly. And that's ridiculous. So their overall length is wrong. And uh, I've been through this puppet show before because I have a Lyman mold Lyman manual and this one is the 452460 and it says to uh, overall length 1.161 well guess what if you ever sight if you ever seated this bullet 1.161 you would see that the brass is hanging off over the the shoulder of the bullet same deal and I knew this was wrong right off the bat. So there's two examples. Lyman mold, Lyman manual. They should know the difference. They should know how it should be seated. But they did not. And I like the Lyman manuals. I highly uh, suggest getting a Lyman manual first. Because the other ones suck even worse. All right, so it's not the age of the manual. This one says the same thing. There's a Lyman 49th, fairly recent. 1.161. If I seated this bullet, 1.161, it's past the shoulder, and you're screwed. So that you got to think for yourself. Now, Tin Man had the same bullet mold as I do on this one and he realized the same thing it's like what the hell are they talking about the brass is way up here okay 
Now, if I were to seat this guy, he'd be way down here, and it's the same with this bullet. They, they got both their own bullet molds wrong in their own manual, and I love the Lyman manuals, but you got to think for yourself. And I try to emphasize to people a billion hundred times when reloading, it's all about your plunk test and your volume that you have left for the powder in there and the pressure it causes. Okay, if you're seating your bullet too low, you're creating high pressure. So it's not just this. Uh, it's not just Lyman. Uh, pff, my worst manual, and I wish I never bought it, is the Lee manual. And a lot of people will get on my case for that. Sure, it's great on showing you how to cast and reload in the beginning of the manual. But once you get to the data, it's total crap. And the reason is... They only show you the weight of the bullet. They don't show you what bullet it is. You don't know how long that bullet is, how much volume it's taking up against your powder and pressure. Okay? It's total garbage. It's a nice little reference point, but you have no idea what bullet that is. It, I can't emphasize this a million times. It's about where your bullet ends inside the case and your volume. And here's another thing that drives me nuts. People go off of case gauges, right? Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. No, it's not good until you check your chamber. With this particular bullet, I ran around with all my 45 ACP guns. And I came up with the number of 1.160. The manual is telling you 1.120, which is past the case. And you have to crimp it somewhere, don't you? Especially off of something that had space off the case mouth. So, my guns were happy with 1.160. This one's telling me to seat it to hell down here, which is going to mess up your powder volume. And this powder charge is total BS because now you're creating pressure. Okay. Not only do you have brass sticking out past the bullet. All right. So this isn't about uh, just cast bullets. I ran into this in 5.7 by 2.8 which is a high-pressure round. In the manual, it said to seat it lower, and I was like, no, this is wrong. I'm going until it plunks, okay? If I seated it like it told me in the manual, I had a time bomb ready to blow up my pistol. So there's that. The Hornady manual, also wrong. They do just jacketed their their own bullets, right? So, hey, how can they go wrong? They had 300 blackout totally wrong two years ago. And people that, that are, are three years ago, maybe, people are still using that manual are totally screwed. Okay? But I knew there was something wrong. So you got to think for yourself. I'm a monkey. I'm not a smart person. I'm not a rocket science scientist. However, you have to think about what you're doing. I do a lot of suppressor loads, super heavy bullets per caliber, and there's no data for that. So you have to think on what you're doing, how much powder charge. You can't overcharge. You got too much pressure. If your bullet is too long and you're using a, a case gauge and not checking your actual chamber that you're loading for, you're creating huge pressure because that bullet is stuck in your lands, uh, the rifling of your barrel. So this is a rant. I, I just want to emphasize this. Those gauges are nice and everything, but you, the, the true winner is your barrel itself. And 9 millimeter, 45 different calibers, 300 blackout. Different, it depends on the manufacturer of the barrel. 
you can be stuck right in the lands and not even know it. And if you're blindly doing it, always chamber check to barrel your shooting. I want to emphasize that 100%. And then, if you have to seat your bullet lower for that chamber because it's too tight or the it's hitting the lands, you have to back off your powder charge and go from there. And then some calibers, you might look at the primer pockets, but it's going to be too late. Okay? You're, you're not, it's not telling you... Um, uh, what your pressure really is. You almost have to go by the diameter of your brass. Is it expanding? Is it doing weird stuff? There's there's a lot of factors to this. So always start on the low side. Don't trust your manual on overall length. These are I have two bullets here made by Lyman. They're Lyman mold that are totally off on their overall length and can cause you a lot of issues. And it doesn't matter on what date the manual is, because this is a newer manual. It's telling me the same thing, 1.161 on this bullet, which would go down below the brass. And your head spacing off the case mouth, and you got to give it a little crimp. You're screwed. So don't trust your manuals, okay? I don't care what manual it is. You have to think for yourself. you got to look at what's going on. Plunk chest your uh, your chambers, okay? Check your volume, adjust lower if you've got to shorten your overall length. I hope this helps. I, I'm really cranky right now because this is the second time with a Lyman cast mold, their own bullet that's t telling you something totally garbage. As a side note, luckily... My wife just found this Christmas present she forgot to give me. All right. And it's something I've wanted for a long time. A telescopic uh, back scratcher. Oh, yeah. So I can scratch my back and, and quit waking her up at night to tell me to tell her to scratch my back. How good is that? Always marry a good woman. So now I got a back scratcher. I don't have to wake her up at night. And uh, it's a gift that keeps on giving from Christmas. What is this, April? All right. I hope you found something out of this. Don't trust your gauges. Go by your barrel. It's all about volume. It's all about volume in the case. Don't trust overall length in the manuals, especially with cast bullets. But it's not always true with the uh, jacketed bullets. Uh, where where can I go from here? Uh, somebody, please, acknowledge. Until next time, thanks for watching. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right there, to the right. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Until next time.